Hi there. My name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode, and today I want to talk about setting up Hoogan. Hoogan is an open source and self-hosted system for automating online tasks. It's similar to tools like If This and That or Zapier, but it's more customizable. Hoogan also gives you greater control by being entirely self-hosted. And it doesn't hurt that it's MIT licensed, too. <laughs> So the first thing that we're going to do to get started is we're actually going to use uh, the Docker Marketplace uh, image on the Linode Cloud Manager. Now, if you don't have a Linode Cloud Manager account, you can use the link in the description to get $100 worth of free credit, which will get you started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select Docker here in the list. And we're going to scroll down and we don't have to actually enter any of these fields here. Um, you're definitely able to if you know what you're doing, you want to configure it. Um, but we're not going to mess with any of those. Then we're going to want to select our uh, Linux distribution, which is going to be Debian 10. Uh, then we'll come down here and we'll select um, Newark, New Jersey, because I'm in the Northeast United States. Now we're going to go with the eight gigabyte Linode here. Uh, that might be a little overkill for what we're doing, but uh, it's a good starting point. Finally, we're going to set up a, a root password here. All right, we're going to hit create Linode. And in just a few minutes, we'll have a Docker instance set up. All right, our Docker uh, image is set up. So we're gonna copy our IP address here and I'm gonna open up my terminal. So we're gonna type in SSH root at, and then we're gonna paste our IP address and hit enter. We can say yes, uh, because we trust the IP address. And we're gonna type in the root password and hit enter. Now, if you had created a uh, pseudo account, then you would use that instead to log in. The next thing we're going to do is type in docker run dash it dash p 3000 colon 3000 and then uh, Hoogan and Hoogan. And so we're going to be running uh, Hoogan from a Docker image, which is the supported way of running Docker on Debian 10 and the latest Ubuntu releases. We're going to hit enter. And it's going to download Hoogan for us, and it should actually run it once it's downloaded as well. We're going to open another terminal here. So we actually need to be running uh, SSH. And we want to do dash L 3000 colon localhost 3000 root and then at the uh, IP address. And what this is going to do is it's going to pipe back this port to our local machine because that port isn't open on our uh, on our remote machine. All right, so now we're we should be set up. So if we go back to our web browser, we should be able to type in localhost colon three thousand, and there we go. This is our remote uh, Hoogan instance that we just set up. So now if we type in login, so the default login is admin, and the default password is password. And we can just remember that for now and hit log in. So we have uh, a couple of agents here that uh, we have set up. So if we hit view, so these are a few of the uh, agents that have been, uh, that come pre-installed in our uh, Hoogan instance. And it looks like uh, this is actually like a XKCD scraper, which is pretty cool, but let's add a new agent here. So let's go website agent. Let's say Bitcoin tracker. Let's set it to every minute. We're going to toggle view here, and we're just going to overwrite this with an agent that I actually found on uh, on the Hugin uh, on the Hugin GitHub page. Let's hit dry run. There we go. It shows the price uh, over the last 24 hours, over the last seven days, and over the last 30 days. That's pretty awesome. So we actually only need to run that every 12 hours. Let's go ahead and hit save. And now we have the Bitcoin tracker here. So let's, uh, let's say run. And so every 12 hours, uh, this Bitcoin tracker is going to run. 
And yeah, there's a lot that you can actually do with Hoogan. Uh, it's it's basically an if this then that uh, thing, but meant for nerds. Uh, you can like hook this up to your home uh, automation server. You know, you could track the weather and then send commands to your home assistant to raise or lower the temperature based on the outside temperature. There's lots of different things that you could do with uh, Hugin, and uh, I just think this is super rad. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any um, Hugin agents that you have uh, created that you find really useful, let us know down in the comments. We would love to see some of the stuff that you guys do uh, with Hugin. Um, but I think that's going to do it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.